just as the title says, this is when do it yourself meets Murphy's Law. Everything that could possibly go wrong will go wrong. And this story begins with my attempt at increasing the capacity of my iPod, of my 160 gigabytes iPod, with uh, what you might call it, a, a flash card that in essence replaces the hard drive and gives you the flexibility to increase the capacity beyond the 160 gigabytes. And I gotta say that the card in and of itself works. The card is a phenomenal idea, um, provided that you get <laughs> you get uh, working cards. And my ignorance was such that I did not know, I did not realize that there's a, f a market of counterfeit, fake, bogus SD cards. Uh, as is the case here, I have an SD card that I bought from a manufacturer that I'll put the details on, on the, two, on the uh, video in the comments below. This SD card claims to be a 512 gigabyte SD card as you can see there it says there 512 gigabytes well folks uh, I, I, I was told that there's no such thing uh, and uh, I pay the price for it uh, it cost me about sixty dollars as they said you know it was too cheap too good to be true but I did not know and I bought it and it didn't work. This card on the other hand worked but of course it's way below the 160 that I originally had on, on the device. At any rate, that's not exactly the point of the story but hopefully you learn from it that you know not everything that shines is gold and if it's too good to be true it probably is as is the case with this bogus uh, SD card. Um, the flash card here works as advertised. Okay, that my beef is not with with this at all. However, you if you attempt to actually work on your iPod or for that matter any Apple product, please understand as I learned the hard way that Apple products are very very fickle. They're very delicate pieces of electronics and they are not to be pride hoping <laughs> that I, I don't understand the magic for that but i guess it's to protect their uh, franchise at any rate i totally damaged my ipod in the process of attempting to make this flash card work with a fake sd card and the end result is that the little, all the ribbons that connect to the battery and that connect to the headphones, the ribbons are basically connected, the way they're connected to the uh, hard, to the um, hardware here are basically by clips and press on things like this that are very delicate. And in summary, I damaged the battery uh, connector here because the connectors themselves use this kind of clipping thing but they are connected to some prongs that are the size of cat hair they are delicate as you have no idea um, I've never seen anything like it and the end result is now I have a dead iPod so I started with a 160 gigabyte, a perfectly working 160 gigabyte iPod that I wanted to increase its capacity with a flash card that in theory would enable me to increase the capacity to a whole terabyte. But because I got a fake uh, SD card, not knowing it was fake at the time, I ended up finagling and finagling with it so much to the point that I broke the battery connector and the end result is a dead iPod.